Okay, so this question is going to deal with 2019 section B question 4. So the elevation plan of the sand bucket and beach ball are shown. A 3D graphic of the bucket and ball is also shown. The bucket and ball consists of a truncated inverted cone. So that means it's a cone upside down. Okay, and truncated means that a portion of it is sliced off. So you can see the bottom is sliced off. Right. The sphere um, and sphere B respectively. The sphere rests on the horizontal plane, okay, and, the co and is in contact with the truncated cone. The bucket has a semicircular handle S and is positioned in plan and elevation as shown. So there's the handle, and it doesn't appear as a circle in elevation. It clearly appears as an ellipse, and that's because when you look at a circle at an angle other than 90 degrees, it appears as an ellipse. Part A. Draw the given elevation and plan showing all constructions and, point, and points of contact. Right. So, XY line. Okay. 70 up. Uh, just move it forward. So, 70 up. There. Okay, plan view. You can we start the plan view of the cone first. So radius of the big circle is 35. So radius, and I'm going to pick a center point to start here. All right, and I'm going to draw a circle radius 35 along there. Uh, make that too that dot too big. I want to be more precise now. Getting that, so I'm just going to change my position of it. Radius 35, I said it was. So um, circle there drawn in plan, right? A horizontal line across here. Bring the vertices of the circle up. Now, that's the cone. Uh, that's the high, uh, top of the bucket there in elevation. line there now the angle is 75 degrees so right you can set you to show you guys how to do it with a protractor um, no point in doing it with an adjustable set square here in the video because most won't have it so just anywhere on your sheet mark a line you draw a light line with an angle of 75 degrees so a light line with an angle of 75 degrees Okay. So you can draw that angle, 75 degrees. Line your set square up with it. Put one set square underneath it, and we're going to slide it over. I'm just going to have to switch my set squares around here because my desk uh, is going to get in the way. So my set square lined up. Slide it over to the line you're going to draw into. So I'm going to. Need to push it over further. Now, there we go. So that's the size, or, or that's the left hand side of it. To get the right, then you can simply just flip this around. Okay, and do it in, do the right hand side lightly first, as you'll need to heavy it later. Okay, oh, Jesus. Now, to get the circle in the inner circle in plan, drop this point down. There's the radius of the small circle. So, there we go. The handle is at an angle of 45 degrees. So, we're going to draw in our angle of 45 degrees. 
okay now we're going to deal with the ellipse so this is the minor going along here that's the minor axis going along there and this is the major axis going along here right now the minor is going to be the short one it's going to be where the handle intersects the small circle is going to be where you're seeing the or sorry not where it intersects the small circle the minor rather it's where the handle intersects the big circle you're going to bring this up so you can bring both of your points up you're going to put your compass here swing your circle okay then you're going to go bring your compass out to the vertice of the cone you're going to swing your circle now that's your major and minor circle All right so i'm just going to move the visualizer a little bit you can divide it up into 60 30 then Now, again, this is the minor circle. I'm going to just pause and write these in. So, I've written it in the axis, right, where the division lines hit the major circle, go parallel to the minor axis towards the middle. So where the division lines hit the major circle, go parallel to the minor axis towards the middle. So where the division lines hit the major circle, go parallel to the minor axis towards the uh, middle. Now, where the division lines hit the minor circle, go parallel to the major away from the middle. So where the division lines hit the minor circle, go parallel to the major axis away from the middle. So here are the points on the ellipse. Now we can freehand sketch them in. So keeping your hand get okay, inside the curve. Okay, you're either moving your body around or you're untaping your sheet. Okay, now so I've uh, moved around there. I'm going to have to pause the work and pull out my table to finish it. So that's that com uh, complete. Now, to do the sphere, right, the radius of the sphere is 30. And it's got, what you call it, it's, it's got to touch the cone, all right? And we don't know where in plan to draw it. So what we're going to do is we're going to position it okay out to the side here to construct it out to the side so what you're going to do is you're going to get your compass you're going to bisect the angle so set your compass to any radius all right it doesn't matter the radius put it here and here and bisect the angle So now, to get the exact center, it says the sphere touches the horizontal plane, aka the xy line, so the center is up 30, because the radius of the sphere is 30, the sphere projects as a circle in every view. So, measure up 30, horizontal line across, and here's the center point of the sphere. Now the point of contact is going to be found by lining your set square up there with the edge of the cone okay you can put your t-square underneath it it doesn't have to be touching the left hand side of the desk the t-square now you can put your set square under and uh, a second set square underneath this either now slide your set square over to to the center point and draw in a line there and that's the 
point contact there. So we're going to take our compass now, okay, and we're going to draw in our sphere in in that position. Now that's a construction position, right? To solve this now, so we're going to drop the uh, center of the sphere. So we're going to drop it until it's level with the center line in plan. Okay, and the center line lies along this 45, or the center point lies along this 45 degree line. So we're going to take center 45 degree line, lightly. We're going to put our compass, we're going to put our compass here in the center in plan. We're going to bring the nib out to here, and we're going to rotate the sphere down. Now, that's the center point in plan. The radius of the sphere remains the same. It continue or er, it remains radius 30. Okay, so we're going to put our compass here, and we're going to draw in this sphere. So there's the sphere in plan. Now to get the sphere in elevation, okay, we're going to bring that center point up. So we're going to bring the center point up and we're going to bring the center point here across. So that's the true center point in elevation. This was a construction sphere, all used to help us get the plan and find the point of contact. The radius remains 30 So uh, that's the sphere in elevation. Here's the heavy and hidden detail. So that's heavy. This is hidden. So there we go. Now we need to find the actual point of contact in elevation. This is just the construction one. So we drop the construction point of contact down to here, so I might just do this in a different color. So to there, we're going to ro put our compass here. Uh, we're going to rotate it around. So that's it in its construct. Er, that's it now in its real position. So then we're just going to bring this straight up and bring the original point of contact across. And there it is there. So that's part, what you call it, that's part uh, A done. Now, part B, draw the development of surface A. All right, so a cone, right? when it's unwrapped is going to appear like this uh, it's a bit like a shell the shell logo so how do we do it right we're going to take our set square and we're just going to line this up and we're going to lightly just draw this on to here until it touches the center line now this is the true length of the actual cone if it wasn't truncated so we're going to set our compass to that distance and anywhere here along the side we're going to put our compass here and swing us a big long arc there nice big long arc right should have enough there we're going to divide our circle in plan into 60 30 So we've divided it into 60, 30. Now, what we're gonna do is take our compass here, and we're going to set that there. 
to the distance between center line and your 60 30 line there all right and we're going to label these zero one two three four five okay six seven um oh sorry six seven eight nine ten eleven doesn't matter where you start along this arc here right zero or there is my first point there just where i start my compass zero one two so you keep stepping your arc along here three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and you go back to zero there so then you can lightly now join what you call it your compass to there and then lightly join it to all the arcs there so i'm going to just pause and do that i'm going to join all the numbers together so there i have them drawn in there now how do we get what you call it the truncated part so we're going to take our compass um, we're going to put it here on this apex now remember we achieve that by just lightly continuing the line down until it hit the center line here okay the center line that's what we have to do so a reminder we ta take that distance or we drew that line down and it has to hit the center line so this is a true length here because you're looking perpendicular to it now so we're going to take that length with our compass and we can put it on all and now we can swing there the way and then you can simply just heavy these so you can now we're ready to target the development of the semi uh, that handle so it says draw the development of the semi-circular handle s all right now the, the problem is that what you call it you don't there the handle appears as an ellipse so you would need to see the true shape of the handle okay in order to be developing now so basically you know the handle does go on for this length from there to there so this circle we've already drawn in the major circle if we if we have our major circle divided into 60 30 so i'm just going to draw a line here on the right hand side okay and we're going to take our compass here and we're going to set it to the length here of the distance between zero and the 30 degrees so zero one two three four five six zero one zero two three four five six right one two three four five six so this is part a this is part b this is part c and that's your question done all right cheers thank you bye bye